up everybody here we are another monday the poetry on the east side connection top of the day is love the love mm. how, how do you feel when you love the love or mm. what do you see when you love the love i mm. don't know who knows i'm here with my with my co-host van meadows aka poetic let's talk that talk What's good, bro? It's a lot going on out here in the world today. <laughs> no, man. It's yeah, a- man. It's, it's, it's a lot going on out here today, man. And this is an interesting topic tonight, man. Um, a lot of us have been there. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've been in love. We've been in the trenches. We've been riding for that one person that's that's uh, supposed to be there for us. True right. facts. And then oftentimes, somewhere along the lines, somebody falls out of love. Blur vision. Yeah, somebody <laughs> or, or, or somebody else has entered the ear gate. <laughs> yeah. To make that, you think that you're not in love anymore. Puppet master. You know? Uh but um love is a beautiful thing. It truly love is. A beautiful thing. One thing I can I can I can say for certain is you want to see a man with vision. I bet you he's in love. Guaranteed. Because it's something about that love that drives a man to be greater than what he is. Yeah. Now, and look at a man that doesn't have that love. He's uh-huh. driven by greed, uh-huh. ego, selfishness. <laughs> He's driven by those things. Yeah. But um man who's in love, and nothing can stop his passion, man, from from doing what he's called to do. Love, love is a beautiful thing, man. I, I love love. Well, that's um, the thing. You know what I mean? When you love the love, <clears throat> you could do just about anything. Yeah. You know what I mean, oh, yeah. the oh, drive, yeah. the motivation, the inspiration. You be on, you be on top of your game, you man. Know I mean? mm. 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 But like you said, when somebody is in sour puss mode, they have to contemplate their actions. Yeah. What reactions and activation points of it could be nonsense. I mean, we all been down those trials and tribulations of the roads. You know what I mean? But the main thing is to uplift yourself. You know what I'm saying? Beat the odds. You know what I'm saying? That's why they say the odds get even. Absolutely. (laughs) You know, it's it's, the other thing about it is, is that being in love with someone that you can't have, Mm. that hurts. Yeah. That, that that right there hurts. Um because I've been there a time or two. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh fighting for what you want. Now now ain't nothing wrong with fighting for what you want. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. You just have to be prepared if you don't get what you want. That's a fact. So so that love, you had to hold on to that love so it don't make you go crazy, right? Because <laughs> That's how that's how most that's how most men end up behind bars or did something mm-hmm. stupid. Uh because they don't know how to channel it. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know how to how to deal with those emotions because they were never taught how to deal with those emotions. Right. And so um and sometimes you gotta take time for yourself. You know, when you take time for yourself, you do the work um to make sure you're good. Mm-hmm. You know, because Who's to say, you know, it's been said to me several times today. Who's to say that that person was meant for you? That's a fact. <clears throat> Everything is divine timing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
You got to wait for the creator to come through with that blessing. Absolutely. Without the question. Without the question. <laughs> blessing without the question. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. why I wrote a piece called Skeleton Key. Mm. You know what I mean? I just go there whenever I need to get there. You know what I mean? So, bro, I'm going to start that one off, man. Skeleton, ahead, skeleton Key. How are you feeling, love? How was your day? What are you doing? I knew you just got home from work and probably cooling. After you're relaxing, chilling and unwinding, give me a call while you are hiding and sighing. Place your time back in the world. I know it is hard. Become a superstar and beat out the odds. You're sweet and lovely. Let us rock how we should be. Do not be in the cold because your ex carry jealousy. You know what time it is. Let us talk, laugh, and chill. No rush on my behalf. I'm just keeping it real. Sometimes in life, we must have go for what we know. Enjoy what's special. Release what is stressful. My monetary moments carry Sandman properties. Forget Mother Nature. Father time cannot stop me. A wave in the water that be touching the sand. Real life story of the man behind the hands. Allow my voice to enter where all the others failed. Take you on a journey. Let nature prevail. Can I bring you a memory of something A1? We do not have to be low key if it's only us, King. Thank you, brother. We don't have to be low key if it's only us. That's right. Man, one of the, <laughs> of that piece, man, one of the, one of the things that I look forward to about being in love again. It's being able to tell the world that she's mine. Facts. Being able to openly express mm -hmm. and love for her. Um, because for, for for years, man, I've 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 lived um without that. Yeah. And even though I'm a I'm a private person, I'm very public when it comes to the woman I love. Um, so with that being said, man, I got this piece, man, that, uh, um, Stevie Wonder inspired piece, Ribbon in the Sky. Oh, shucks. That's what's up, bro. The mic is yours. Thank you, bro. <laughs> As the autumn leaves breeze through the air, the rustling of a love I deemed unfair. As if I do not deserve all this elegance. Then I remembered that first glance how I enjoyed the sound of love and its presence, chasing me through the emotional maze with persistence, how I love the way your scent travels through the atmosphere and I awakening, trying to figure out how did I get here? Because here's a place I only yearn to be. Here is a place I've always dreamed it could be. Your words of affirmation creates this amazing affection and I just want to be held captive by the wind so I can finally begin to understand why for so long this day and night I would pray that God would send you my way. And the elements residing on the earth would at last show me my true worth. Baby, this is not a coincidence and so much more than some lucky chance because blowing around in the air used to be something tied to your hair. Now, now, it's a symbol of something unbreakable. That is our bond, love. And there's a ribbon in the sky that I love. All right, bro. All right. Talk that talk, man. Talk that talk. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, man. It's always a ribbon in the sky. You know what I mean? Always, man. Always. People, you gotta you gotta seek, seek and find. Sometimes yeah. you don't have to search. You know what I mean? And I feel at the same time, love could be the representation of a new earth. Mm. You know what I mean? You either live in it or you live outside of it. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Man. So you know, it's 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 one of those one of those things where we get afraid of it because we've been hurt by it. Mm. And you know, a wise woman a wise woman said to me, it's not love that hurt you. It's the people 
who said they loved you that hurt mm. you. Thanks. Love ain't do nothing to you. Love just mm. loved you. Right. Mm. And you know one of my one of my favorite uh one of my favorite scriptures the Bible talks about what love does. And it says love covers a multitude of sin. Mm. Love, covers, love covers a multitude covers of sin. A multitude of sin. And that means that, baby, no matter what you do to me, I'm still gonna love you. No matter what you say to me. I'm still going to love you. No matter how you treat me, I'm still going to love you. I'm not going to be stupid, <laughs> but I'm still going to love you. Uh, yeah. you know, tell, tell, tell them, let them know. But hey, bro, I got a piece to, to correspond with the piece you just did, the ribbon in the sky, man. My man, my man. This is a piece I titled, Have You Seen Her? Inside my all-star inquiries, my modesty is honesty. Getting to know you better is a universal quality. Speaking the living words that reside within the unknown, this appreciated poem could be held inside your heart's home. When I look into your eyes, besides seeing your pretty smile, although it is occasionally, but I am digging your whole style. Keep me in your thoughts of thought, do not ever let it sever. As time move about, I stamp your moments in my letters capture your beautiful visual it enhances how i get lyrical as if i just meditated to a smooth jazz instrumental the warm words that i embrace off the lips on your face i have gotten to know you so well that i could not mind tasting remind me of a story of a couple that loved the 70s living off the hope and drive of seeing one's destiny so my scenes and dreams written through compunct Excuse me. So my scenes and dreams written through composition notes is no joke when you're woke seeing both sides of growth. King. Yo. <clears throat> Have you seen talk, talk that talk, money. <laughs> walk that walk, money. Yeah, man. Have you seen her? Have you, you know seen her? Woo, I'm still looking for her right now. <laughs> no. man, listen, you, you, you know what, man? You know, I have been so closed off to love for the last uh last four or five years um and i've come to the realization a few weeks ago that i'm i'm open and i i want it now um and um i'm gonna do this piece man new face of love <laughs> Shucks, let me mute my mic whenever wherever whatever you need baby i got you because i never knew my dreams would ever come true i finally found a love that's real each time we kiss it seals the deal that when our lips touch our souls reunite with the love and passion that's never too much but baby it's just right so with all my might i say whenever wherever whatever you need baby i got you and as sure as the majestic skies are blue you and i would endure for a lifetime our love would be the epitome of a sacred time when man and woman collide to bring unity through our ritualistic vibe show me the power of your presence and i will die keeping our love alive with persistence that reminds the universe that your wants and needs are mine to cultivate and nurture while my senses speak on your ability to give me strength now and forever. So when I say whatever, wherever, whenever, maybe I got you. And it's fortunate and true. You hold the lock to our combined happiness and my key will unlock a passion sealed in the tightest fortress. As I prepare to ascend into your body's magnitude where the flames that lured the moth consumed, consumed it as it got closer and closer to our love aura. I'll hold fast to your earthly love as it inspires a greater Kama Sutra. Even till the cops come knocking, all they will find is some pretty wings floating and rocking back and forth as she has everything she wants and needs. Because this fire we make, 
as we lay by the lake by the ocean, we succeed in becoming the new face of love. The new face of love. I love you. I love you. That's my piece. Oh, that's right, brother. <clears throat> Queen, spit tell me. That spit talk hey, that hey. What's up, Queen? How you doing? <laughs> all right, all right. We just getting the party started. I see, you know I, I mean? see. Snap, snap, snap. Feeling it, yeah. feeling it. What's good with you? Everything is everything. Just trying to keep up with you guys. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, we talking that love to love, love to love. Not all right, me. all right. How do you love the love? Yeah, okay. <laughs> when do all you right. love the love? <laughs> you know what mm. I mean? All right, I'm with it, I'm with it. Well, you, okay. You just came in, so it's on you right now. Well, you know. Oh, you came, it's on me? Came, I'm in the hot yeah. spot? You just, you came in just at the right moment. Oh snap! Oh snap! Okay. Snap! Snap! <laughs> Ooh, child. Look, hold on one second. All right, take your time. Take Why are you your taking time. your time? Um, you know, I'm a man who's in love with love. I feel you on that, bro. Um, love is just such a such a wonderful feeling. And um, that's for sure. When you, when you, when, when it's reciprocated, mm-hmm. when it's reciprocated, it, it's amazing. And you have different levels of love because certainly the way you love your partner or your mate is not the same way you love your kids. That's true. Because mm. that love that I have for my kids is a special love. And I've been having a rough, I've been having a rough 2023. Mm. It's been mm. rough. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. So Sunday, I got up early, fixed my kids some breakfast, you know, some pancakes, some bacon. And I'm in the kitchen whipping everything up. And um, I knock over the pancake mix. Oh. In my haste to trying to trying to do everything, I knock over the pancake mix because I was my thoughts are distracted. Mm-hmm. Right? So my daughter saw the frustration in my face. She went and got the boot in the dustpan. She swept it up. Mm. But I'll be even asking her. That's peace. And then after that, she came and she just held me. And uh, kissed me on my cheeks. And said, Daddy, I love you. That's what's and up. Said, I said, I love you too. And I said, um, and I said to her, I said, you always know what daddy needs. She's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and, and, and I tell you, the kid, the kid, all of the all of the other kids be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and I say the reason y'all are jealous is because the bond that she and I have is different. It's just yeah. so different. Yeah. You know, she's in tune to you. She's, she's right. watched me go through. She watched me go through some things, and she overheard a conversation I was having. So I was supposed to have a very important meeting with someone today, hmm. and before she left, and I dropped her off, she looked at me and she said, "Daddy." Good luck with your meeting tomorrow. This piece, yo. My sons? <laughs> <laughs> and my, my other baby, she's too young. Yo, she's too young. She's five. So yeah. at different levels of love, but love feels good. True. Feels good. True facts. You no, know, so so I, I I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about love again. Um mm-hmm. I never I never thought I would be. Right. Because of the pain that I've suffered through love, I never thought I would be excited about love again. Yeah. Even though I, I can, I, man, I can, love and romance is my favorite genre to write. In. I can write about it all day, but when it comes to wanting it for myself, I was yeah. like, eh, I'm good on that. Okay. But I've done the internal work, right? To put me in a place where you know what, I'm ready again. I'm ready to to have someone love on me like I want to love on them. Mm. Now the challenge is nobody can love like I can love. My love is different. So I welcome all challenges. Come on, come on with it. Come on with it. <laughs> you know, I love you. Come with it. Nah, but, all right. you, ready? you ready? You ready, Serena? Uh, yeah, I, I grabbed a piece, but I, I love that. I feel like your children teach you a different way. Yeah. of love they they teach you a whole different perspective of love yeah. it's a love that you can't really even expect 
yeah. from other people. And each one of them shows you a different perspective of that perspective. It's it's just beautiful to watch them grow and develop That's and true. like you know turn into their own selves. I think the selfish thing we have a tendency to do is like um when it comes to loving people, we expect that everybody is going to fit into an image but our kids they come as they are we love them unconditionally and they love us unconditionally i think that's different i think we have a tendency to put a lot of conditions on uh, you know male and female relationships yeah. that kind of undo exactly. it but well we don't do that when it comes to the babies the babies come it's something yeah. about their eyes that pureness and that innocence that they come to you with it's hard Absolutely. to do anything but understand that it's coming with the purest of intentions that's so hard with people yeah. it really is so you um, know, it's, it's, and see with people you gotta you gotta read out who's real and who's fake yeah yeah I have, this, I have this i have this I have this saying that I tell a woman when she tells me that she loves me mm-hmm. or she's in love with me. I say, careful, careful. Mm-hmm. Because the moment that you speak those words, it will be tested. Mm-hmm. I'm not the one to test it. The universe and God will test it. True. See if you're true in what you really say. Mm-hmm. And sad to say, you're single. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to look at love from a different, less jaded perspective. I think that there is pureness and beauty in learning Absolutely. to love people That's where they are, is. just as they are. But people challenge that on a regular basis. Oh. <laughs> hey. people, people, places, and things. Yes, yeah. indeed. Discernment is so incredibly important you know who you yeah. allow in your space and what you allow so yeah we gotta look at it a little turn it on his head this year like i'm not i'm not I've, I've read this thing and it was saying like i'm no longer looking you can't say that you're looking for a partner you are you know what i want already wants me it's just a matter of seeing that into the world in the world because we don't see ourselves and everybody that we meet we're not supposed to you know feed that into the universe yes indeed yes (laughs) indeed all right i'm gonna drop a little piece that i've been working on i i'm working on some love stuff you know and i have a lot of love but this one i've been working on today so i'm gonna doesn't have a title all right Memories of your kisses seared into my skin like tattoos, laced with traces of tastes and sacred places. Reminded me that I will know love. Though it seems her beauty has eluded me, I'm a vacillate vessel wavering between the wars beyond me and the memory of your sweet embers. They say that body remembers the same number of lifetimes as this bountiful earth and in our oneness, I know love in her many splendid forms. The reverb amplified the beauty in her rebirth. The body recalls when the mind refuses to remember. I close my eyes and listen to her steps. Certain things reminding me with every beat that a pure love exists inside of me. The greatest love I've ever seen. Even I, the great pretender who surrendered to sleep, almost got the best of me. And though walking through darkness tests my affinity for worthiness, I, the body remembers the simple deliciousness of spent breath, the heavenly sanctity of a cloud of sheets, the recollection of past lives through earnest fingers, reaching eagerly through lifetimes, healing hands full of honey for wounds, the peace and being seen completely and loved anyway in the age of the mask in the wake of all these tragedies i know a love exists that will fill me to capacity and that's a piece so far <laughs> thank you that's what i'm talking about that's Woo. i know you talk there too that's right <clears throat> thank you guys I appreciate we, we it. We need you up in this joint, Queen. You know what I mean? Oh, I feel so special. I miss y'all. You. Yeah, you know, we you all did rock it at a certain form. You know what I mean? So, yes, yeah. indeed. I'm yeah. here for it. <laughs> that, was, that was real dope. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. All right. Let's hear what you guys got. All right. This, this piece is titled My Hand for You. When that time comes, I am already on display, 
Don't let them others sway what you are thinking, okay? No need to search for prayers or look at windows open. My motions be holding a different life inside oceans. Thoughts occur facing my visual scan for love. I know that you had it tough and you're missing a royal touch. The idea that could mix the chemistry of me. Better side of what's to be is a unity living free. No expectations, congratulations, you let your guard down. Found inside a king is a throne with a magnificent crown. Mindful ideas as they appear kissing your tears. In a piece of wear, hold your memories like souvenirs. Change into scuba gear, travel against the tides. Escaping inside your hide that your low had to be neutralized. And with you by my side, I will let God decide. The biggest treasure to find is love without it being compromised. Or natural without being forced, believe in the source. The thrill can bring a chill or a happiness cough. This is my soft letter written different scene in your vision. While we connect, let's improvise on this here edition, King. Yes, sir, King. Manifest that, okay. It's my hand for you. Indeed, indeed. Thank I'm you. Good. Appreciate that. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Let me get involved with this here thing. Let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and jump in this. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> this piece is called, a little piece I got called uh, A Kiss of the Heart. I have never met a woman who can kiss my heart. Her lips so sensually glossed did their part. She reached beyond the layers of flesh and tissue and reminded me of an important issue. And her lips and kisses are nothing to play with, passion so symmetrical. She used her tongue to massage each aortic ventricle. Like an organ surgeon, she made sure all my doubts and fears were off and not on. The touch of her kiss reached into the depth of my soul. That my French kisses were losing total control because my heart was being made love to by just her lips. Man, I thought her fingertips were proving a point of their worth. But her touch is so unique in all the earth, shattered my feelings to its core. My sense of sight was clouded before. But these kisses upon my heart has me yearning for more. The sound of her love kiss moving through my body like a free flowing river. I smell love radiating throughout my heart's nasal passages, reminding me over and over again, I can't escape her soul kiss packages. It's not a peck on my heart that can simply just taste. My organic taste buds are telling me to own the heart's position as she continues to kiss without haste. My knowledge of her juicy lips on my heart is how she was able to touch, touch a part of me that I thought died and, and so much, so much was lost and I no longer could be awakened, especially by some mythically charged arrow. So her lips would lend and I'd borrow this passionately, this sensually heart's kiss. I pray I'd never again miss Is that piece. <sighs> Oh, snap, snap, snap. Yes. Fact, give, that, give that brother a applause. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, wow. yeah. Appreciate it. So good. That was de definitely on point. Ooh. That's, 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 that's. Keeping yeah, the doors man. open around here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Man, when, I, when I get in that vein, man, when I start thinking about love, man, my mind just goes so many different things. Um, mm. You know, and it's like, and, and I'm upset. I'm actually upset with myself. And I've been closed off for so long, you know, but who knows? We don't know what 2023 holds. Like I said, I ain't had a good 2023, but <laughs> by the end of the year, who knows? Who knows? Man, it ain't even going to be the end of the, it ain't even going to be the end of the year. Summer's coming. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hot boy summer's coming. Like, summer's coming, boy coming like the candy man. When I, I mean... Absolutely. Yeah. It is. It is. Just you know, you see one of the things that um one of the things that 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 kind of distorts love um is is what we see portrayed or portrayed out in social media. Right? I mean you have all these cute little memes, all these cute little pictures, all these cute little sayings. I mean, it's all fine and good. We all use them to some point. I want to make my own. 
in reality, not in social media, but in reality. Right. You know, so so you gotta be, you just gotta be careful. I mean, you can't you, you can't think that your level of love is going to be what someone else's level of love is. That's true. You know, no, so you, you have to you have to find your lane and, and, and cultivate it and stay in it. But I will tell you this: the moment that you think love is stagnant, you gotta find a new way to reignite it. Yeah. That's the problem. That's that's some of the problem that you have with with, with marriages that <laughs> fail because they forget how to love each other. All right. If you right. love each other, I man, not just marriages, but relationships in general. You know, you you can be you can be in love today and out of love tomorrow. But hey, well, you never you never was in love. Right. It's that easy for you. You might want to check your posts. I don't know if that's. I don't know if I completely agree with that. I do think that love is supposed to evolve over time, and I think that you know. We as humans, anything that is not growing is essentially dying, right? Dying. So, yeah. so even in your communications and in the personal relationships, as you evolve as an individual, it's like Lauren Hill said, like you, you might be just meeting me. So mm. if I introduce you to this new level of myself, can you still love her without the the, the romanticized idea of what the love you met? It's supposed to look like I think that's why love has a tendency not to stand the test of time because we don't know how to yeah. you know we we bump heads with the yeah. evolution of one another yeah and we but lose sight I of that. I could agree with that, that evolution we do and yeah. that's when it goes but I feel like um sometimes when you evolve your partner might not can they probably can't evolve with you that's what my grandmother you say what? there's something in the air <laughs> But do you do you do you give up, or do you yeah, teach yeah. them how to evolve? Well, not even teach, teach them, them, just show. They yeah, should be right. able to see what you're doing and say, "Oh, he's right. becoming a better man. I see a change yeah. in him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead yeah. of the, instead of them going like, "Oh, I don't know what's going on with him," and being like that, so therefore yeah. you know there's a certain stench in the air, right? You know what I mean, well, where she might be having on her way out. I mean, that's how I look at it. I mean, you know, go ahead, Queen. That just gave me a prompt. Every <laughs> together love ain't a forever love. Take it from there. I want to see what you guys come up with that. Every person you see yourself with for a second, not meant to be a forever love. If it can't evolve with you like that, then maybe it wasn't meant for you. I feel like a person that would, there was something that the woman told me when I was like 20 years old when I first met. She was like, you know, you have to keep in mind that how you get them is how you're going to keep them. You have to be friends first and you have to know and understand that human being because yeah. um, if you're not, you know, as that person evolves, you, this is going to take the same amount of effort and, and intimacy and, and, and vulnerability and openness to keep them as it did to get them in the first place. And most people lose track of that. <laughs> and you know, you, you, you said a mouthful because dealing with that that thing mm -hmm. right there um and i actually said those very words tonight mm -hmm. get them, get them to lose them. Mm -hmm. and the sad reality is i believe in us being friends first yeah, because, be. <laughs> because the basis of our relationship has to have a foundation right. and if we don't have the proper foundation is that me it could be turned upside down. It could be topsy turvy. So yeah. I, believe in us, I believe in I believe in friendship first. It, it could be um, like a wibble wobble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, no and, it's, and it's you know, and it's said that one of the popular things is we'd love to hear is uh, you should fall in love or marry your best friend. And I agree with that one hundred percent. And the reason being is because as friends, you should be able to have those difficult conversations. That's, that's that's okay in a safe space because you're friends. Right. First. Yeah. We can deal with we can deal with the the, the, the the couple component. We can deal with the couple component. Right. right. Let's get this let's get this out in the open. My problem is is because of the pain that I've experienced has caused me to shut down a lot and not address things, not deal with things head on. 
which has cost me over the years. Um, but in learning myself, I know that that I have to unpack that and and stop shutting down. You know, if somebody wants to be in your space, somebody wants to be with you, then you have to allow them to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you right. will, you know, because you've been through some things, and to think that that nobody else has gone through something, it's it's bad, you know. And I've been guilty of this too, thinking that only my pain matters more than someone else's pain, right. and and that's just not true, you know. Pain is pain, regardless of how it comes, how it happens. You you have to be open and honest, and be like, look, listen, I apologize that my pain has hurt you to the capacity that your pain was not as important as mine. The mindful mindfulness and thoughtfulness, you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Well, I, know, I know in my past one, you know, um, one of them, I always put her pain and agony or whatever before my own, because I knew that I was built strong enough to withstand time and space but then at the same time when my feelings wasn't put in consideration it was just like oh damn like you don't care like right. Okay. Right. so that's what made me evolve I mean, elevate and evolve through meditation and yeah. just say you know what it's okay it's cool i still stood my ground 10 toes down you know what i mean right so but everything was a learning us you know when you young you still trying to figure it out you know what i mean so to be a man, I'm still trying to figure it out, but right, right, I'm right. not giving up on that mission, though. You know what I mean? Because we still hit, and that's the main fact. You're not losing yourself in this world today. You know what I mean? Right. So even though we even though we spent the block, I'm gonna let Queen go before yeah. me. Yeah. All right, all right. I, I like the bow before it's the divine majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, good sir. Good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, man, I, I kind of want to do a, a different piece based on this conversation, but I had this piece pulled up and so I love so much. Okay. This ain't no ordinary love. No ordinary crush. No ordinary love affair. It's more than just physical touch. This is liquid stardust in my blood. Desire itching under my skin from your memory. Etching exquisite, exquisite expletives and hieroglyphs. Pin my limbs to it, arrested any idea of exit since the first electric kiss, buried my picture in your attic, christened my forehead in wet blessings. I ain't going nowhere after this. This is it. This extraordinary, this is extraordinary and ever paying. This is the oldest and fleshiest form of alchemy. Creation birth through your oneness with me, the portal to your dreams, birthing full fruit, heavy with juicy. We don't just make love, we make beautiful music. We make passionate kisses capable of blending dimensions, full mouth, full out, until the corners are stretched out. We make ley lines across miles of skin, guiding and gliding our way through pleasure principles with intentional lips. We make prayers out of greedy hands, remembering anxious bodies through states of undress and caresses. We make a fucking mess. We give thanks. We give in, we get full, nothing is forbidden, all juice, full fruit. We make light work with fire water. We make fireflies fueled by our essence, wet with lumen, illuminating a voyeuristic moon. <laughs> we rock the sun awake. Yes, we make shit bone shaking and cataclysmic. We, no, we don't just make love. We make magnificence. We make kisses electric and violent, anxious mouths full of mayhem, a belligerent showing of affection. Yes, this is, this is souls moaning in unison, wailing in retribution. This is healing light work through a light touch and toxic teeth and nails, unearthing buried pleasure. This is a tribal motion whose sole focus is to close in on the distance to create a deeper closeness. This is orgasm that connects belly to cerebellum. This is me claiming every inch of your skin is mine. 
wrapping myself around every inch like ivy vines this is a connection of masculine and feminine energy this is divinity and it's all i've ever wanted see this love feels legendary and everything but ordinary our coupling is significant so we don't just make love we make magnificence and that's that piece okay now all right okay now okay. there you okay, go now. There you go. Thank you. We make light of it. I love I love the way that started. Thank um, you. Appreciate it. I can't I hey man, I, I cannot wait to be able to make magnificence with someone. Oh, right. You gotta speak it. You gotta <laughs> speak it. I mean you gotta give it flesh. I just give her flesh through your words. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. speak life into this woman that you're trying life to manifest. Bring yeah. things into fruition, my brother. Right. Know out the affirmations. Manifesting that magnificence. And since since we're gonna manifest magnificence, I'm <laughs> gonna do this piece. All right. All right. So, um, I remember you. All the things you would do, kiss me, hug me, hold me. Yeah, those things you do. Reminded me why I belong to you. All the pretty words you tell me to. The days and nights you would comfort me, insisting I was the only one. See, mm, I definitely remember you. The way you'd make love to me, you. You would make my body do things I never knew. I never knew I was capable of. True. You showed me how passion existed in a person. You personified and glorified how I was your everything under the sun. Oh, baby, I remember you. The way our love languages stuck to each other like crazy glue, purposely defining each and every moment together, creating heavenly love rainbows forever making promises to each other to never leave insisting that you were there for me and say baby it's okay to breathe because with each breath i exhaled was a constant reminder you were in my corner no matter what i was trying what was trying to make me be derailed every time i think i have a think i can moment was followed by your baby i know you can compliment you had a way of motivating me to be better at everything I do. Oh, baby, I remember you. The way you taste, the way you smell. Every night I lay in bed trying not to yell because you broke my heart and ripped it into a thousand pieces. Because you never believed your own words despite the abundance of increases of the positive growth in our relationship. So you wanted off this commitment ship. I clearly can't forget you. So yeah, I remember you. That's that piece. Damn. Sheesh. I know. Don't uh, blast it all, brother. Take it off. Oh, That's what's up, man. man. Let it be known. Indeed. Oh, Coming man. with that force, man. It's fire. Hey, 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 come on, James. Hey, don't, don't, don't let me do it by myself, brother. Come on, man. Okay, okay. You, you off on your own, brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I got a piece right here, though. Um, this piece is titled um, "Time Before." It's an older piece, but I feel like I resonated out there. Used to dream that I mastered many ways to capture, covered your whole rapture moved a little faster couldn't fall short on the steps just to get to know you speaking to you on the phone was very soulful conversation and laughter about many things schedule a time to meet up how can we swing perhaps maybe lunch or dinner your choice is fine fill me inside of these lines it's so divine your glow is incredible angels get jealous just another side of god's creation that's treasured Maybe stay friendly going towards summer. Only you and I, sweet thing. I'm not a runner. Here's the real deal on why I want to speak. Feeling your energy from another side of me. If you're okay and feel the same as I, open the possibility for this cool guy. Won't be disappointed, though we never know. The name is Atterbury 
first name is Joel King. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, All right. Probably making the angels get jealous. Okay, yeah, okay. Angels, 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 angels get bro. jealous. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Ooh. But, Ooh. hey, but you know, um, sometimes we have to walk into this world with expectation can't be too high. We in dark days right now. This is not like the lighter days and the brighter days, but we can still have brighter days under these sun rays. You know what I mean? Because the sun gonna still shine regardless. The light is always gonna be there. But you know, I, I feel like uh, let me see what the uh, sister Monet say. Love the love. So tell me when is loving the love too early and unhealthy? Well, that's when you gotta have that strict conversation to communicate. You know what I'm saying? You can't just think one way or another way. And besides that, I'm just throwing this out there. A lot of us have to keep other people out of our ears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes girlfriend or homies be like this. Like, nah, I ain't talking to her. Yo, this, that, and the other. You got to get to know the person through the ins and outs. You got to know what's on the mind. Right. Right. You yeah. can't just, you just can't say like, well, you know, I feel like this, that, and whatsoever. Sometimes, you know, be careful who you're talking to. You know what I mean? Absolutely. They could play. They could plant the seed of doubt. You know what I mean? Yep. So I'm really still learning communication. You know what I'm saying? I like. I love to learn things every week. Relearn things. Yep. You know what I mean? Just in case you came across a hiccup, and it's like, mm, oh you know, wow, okay. You know when you when you when you talk about. When is loving and love too early? Everybody loves differently. So if you fall in love that and you believe it's too early, you have to you have to question yourself and say, why why am I having this feeling? Mm-hmm. Right? I doubt. So if you're having that feeling of, of you're in love too early, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. As long as it doesn't become unhealthy. Right. And unhealthy is when you when you're doing things outside of yourself that you normally wouldn't do like not taking care of yourself right when when you love someone so much that you're willing to forsake self never do that never do that never 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 do that Mm -hmm. okay is important because if, if if you're not taking care of yourself then how can you love someone else the way that you need to love okay but but I believe that 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 you can you can loving early can be healthy um, as long as you keep it in the right perspective. Mm-hmm. For example, you may not need to let the other person know that you're in love early because that could end up bad. Because if that yeah. person is not feeling the same way, and you say, "Well, baby, I love you," and he says, or she says, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> yeah. You well, they'd be like, "Oh, that's cool." Right. <laughs> like, it's be okay that they don't feel that way. Yes. Because maybe it, it takes more time for them than it does you. And that's okay. You can't see. Oh man, I don't want to get too personal, but you cannot see that you love someone and you're in love with someone. And then close them off from your life like they never existed. Mm, ghost. Mm. Ghost them. You can't do that. Because right. here's what ends up happening. Here's what ends up happening. One, if you've done that for the sake of moving on to another person, you haven't really dealt with the issue of the fact that you still love that person. Mm. So now, you're taking that into this new, new thing that you got going on. Mm. And that's not fair to the other person. Right. Because you still love someone else. Right. And you don't know how many times I've talked to, to women and they say that they're not in love with their man because they still love the ex. Mm. What? What is wrong with you? Why do you have a man if you still love your ex? You need to get that right. Mm. Well, we can't be together because it's toxic. Well, then you needed to deal with those feelings and those emotions before you moved on. Because right. I promise you, I made sure I dealt with my stuff before I decided to. 
it took me almost five years <laughs> to be at this place where I can say, you know what? I'm open to love again. I'm open to being in a relationship with him. Should that come with a wife? I posted the other day, I think I need a wife. I was very serious about that. I have never been more focused as a man than when I was married. Some of y'all that later. Bro, brother Pope gonna have somebody start breaking out some Luther records when I listen. Look, it's a Freddie Jackson when I. I mean, hey man, God, God damn you, Pope. <laughs> man, listen. Um, I like the place that I'm in right now. You know, the the, the, the year as I, as I mentioned, the year started. It started rough. I ain't had a good. I ain't had a good day in the new year yet, but one day. Mm. I mean, when I. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I come out of work one day, my windshield is cracked. It wasn't cracked when I drove to work, but it's cracked. Mm. All right. I go home, I schedule the appointment. Had the appointment scheduled for this past Saturday. Technician called me Saturday morning. Uh, Mr. Meadows, we're going to have to uh, reschedule your appointment. Because the windshield came in, but the new windshield that came in, that's, scr- that's scratched. And we can't put that on your car. Uh-huh. I'm so glad that I'm not one of those people that will allow a negative day affect me adversely. Because uh-huh. I could have shut down, I could have shut people out. Yeah. But my love for positive, my love for growth, my love for advancement, and my love for my kids keep yeah. me going. That's what's up. <clears throat> It's absolutely true. So, so if you're having a bad New Year, you know, it's okay. If someone fell out of love, it's okay. If someone fall out of love, but still love the person they fell out of love yeah. with. And give that one to Queen. What? Okay. No, no, not that you fall out of love, but still, I feel like um, to be in love and to love someone are two completely different acts and in that respect i think you never really stop loving the person you just kind of respect yourself enough to not you can love someone unconditionally unconditional love is not un- unconditional acceptance of negative behavior you know what i'm saying so i can love you from over there it is a lot of people that i can say i love from over there will all do respect i'm healed from it i respect you as a person i won't throw the fact that you can be a good person that made a bad decision that affected me so you'll have to i have to love you from a distance from now on you know it's like i told my son like first that i was like you know he asked me did he did i trust him and i said and this is the only thing i've stood on for a long time i only trust that people would not do things to intentionally harm me and as long as i go through life thinking that way then i know that you might make a mistake but that doesn't make you a bad person it just tells me you know if you slap me you're not going to get a chance to slap the other you know not going to turn the other cheek so you can slap the other side of my face kind of thing but (laughs) you know so it's like yeah I, i really do believe that you can still love a person once you fall out of being in love with them because certain things that they do will put a distance and a little space around your heart but if you're a loving person you're never really going to lose that that initial feeling that this person is kind of a sacred place in your life it's just a little different it looks different than it did before they made whatever decision caused me to be like oh i love you from over there i love you from down the block <laughs> you know that's I, how I, I, feel agree. About it. I agree and a perfect example of that is um, parents are no longer together mm-hmm. um, I was in love with my ex-wife I'm not in love with her anymore. I love her as the mother of my children but that's the extent that's the extent of it um, and that's a you know that's a it's a hard thing to hear sometimes mm-hmm. because you have these wayward people who think oh well so you, you you got my kid I can always come back no you can't <laughs> mm. 
As a man, I play you like that. Play you on that, bro. Like, like, just because I have a love for you as a parent to my children, that's not an invitation for you to say, "Oh, yeah, I'm coming back." Because you're still in love with me. No, 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 no. Listen you to you love the life. idea of me. <laughs> you love the idea of me, and you love the person that thought you can get away with what you did. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Indeed. Well, look, Queen, we're gonna let you be the showstopper. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And take us out. All right. Okay. It's a piece. Another piece I've been working on. Let's see. Haven't given a title yet, but it goes. We be dancing on shaky ground these days. We be dancing bare feet on sun heated concrete. We be stepping in our shadows to cool our toes through highs and lows. We, you, me, here we go, hand in hand, getting down on shaky ground. We be dancing on the minstrel stage these days, going the way of the obsolete. We be adopting to their ways these days, bone straight, well behaved, a model slave taking our truths to an early grave, wondering what the world, what the day will bring, something in the way of things, something in that DNA, begging you not to obey, heartbeats pounding at rebel rates, feet moving at a frenzy pace, with your hand in my back, feel the small of my waist, we be dancing the night away, getting down on this shaky ground, guess it's something in that bitter pill, that covers over summer chills. We gyrating hand over fist, fighting some, but dancing still. Red clay rises and falls to the beat, to clapping hands and tapping feet, getting down on this shaky ground. We be shoulder shaking, arms akimbo, keeping pace to a lineal tempo. To the naked ear, it looks like fun, but our souls in tune to that tun tun drum. A flagrant defiance peppers our two step as we get swept up in one another's breath. Solid ground can fall away as we ride a cloud of purple haze, inhaling ivory smiles like white lines. Excuse me as I kiss the sky. Another track ties off my mind as we stew in the fluid infusion of a dirty wine. We are slaves to the rhythm, and though the beat drop sounds like gunshots we are slaves to the rhythm if the music makes our body rock i am hungry for your magic anesthetize me to a burning world i'm numb to the madness dope sick for your next hit of some don't stop get it get it put your full weight behind it mold my hips into your image we built this thing on shaky ground Hands stained brown from tilling the soil, searching on our knees, plucking up the weeds, burying our seeds, making light of things, crying in the rain, the working and the praying begin to look the same day after day. Day after day, the edges fade away, erasing black and white for a weary shade of gray. It's hard to find our feet. As this life moves and shake, but we be dancing, getting down, like this ain't built on some shaky ground. And that's it so far. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. What, what a way to take the show off. Now, man. Thank uh, you. Appreciate that. That was fly. That was Thanks, fly. y'all. Oh, love that. Love that. Definitely sky high. I appreciate right. it. Thank you, guys. Well, um, hey, we want to thank everybody out there in the chat. In the Portrait Corner universe for tuning in tonight. Y'all could be somewhere else, but y'all here with us tonight. You know what I mean? We like to thank Queen, Van Meadows. Hey, we we had a great show tonight, man. You got anything left to say, Poe, before you take us out? Hey, man. Love didn't hurt you. The person that said they loved you hurt you. Don't blame hmm. Don't blame I like that. Yeah. Next, why. next piece in a new book. Be on the lookout. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Why? Yeah. I love that. Thank y'all yeah. for coming, hanging out with us tonight. You know, Queen, we appreciate you and everything yeah. that you brought to the show tonight. We thank y'all for just coming out and, and, and entertaining us. You know, your comments, your questions, you know, 
getting us to think a little bit. You know, so, you know, sometimes it's okay for us to be transparent um, as men, right? Because y'all need to know how we feel about love. So I hope we help somebody out there. I hope we shed some light. Um, and, and, and then we spoke stuff into uni- into the universe for ourselves because um, we like to manifest love for ourselves. So Thanks. that's all about. Well, we'll see everybody next Monday. Same time, same channel. Peace, love, and poetry. We out of here.